My drink is weak. What are we supposed to say? Mas tequila. Mas tequila for you. See? As soon as you say mas tequila, mas tequila for somebody will come and take a bottle of that mas tequila to them. And then you are completely satisfied. So don't forget those magic oh, words. Yeah. Mas tequila. Mas tequila for you. <laughs> Necesito más. Ladies and gentlemen, eh, allow me to present you to the local guy. This is Pancho. Hola. Hola. Uh, he's going to take care of you. They know everything about the plan, right? So you uh, skip that part, okay? <laughs> yeah. No, he's going to tell you how they cook uh, the gabbets here, but you know everything about the plan by now, so. I live in good hands. If you need me, I'll be at the bar. Nah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 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 so everybody's ready? Yeah. That's my style. So, uh, yeah, I'll, what I'll do is I'll give you guys a quick explanation because I understand you guys already did a tour. But afterwards, if you guys like to have a sample or a few, you're more than welcome to. Okay. Unless you guys don't want to, I can sample for you. I'll <laughs> But we're gonna start over here, so I need you guys to please come with me. Let's roll. Yeah. Does she need help? I don't know. Yeah. What are those? Guava. Guavas? Eat this fresh piece of fruit right there. Yeah. Eat the skin and everything? Yeah. That's a nice little hole. Whatever you do, guys, do not take a bite of those guavas over there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I can stand in the shade over here. So, uh, you guys are all tired, huh? Yep. No. I don't know. It's all right. I mean, It'll be quick, I promise you it'll only take five minutes here and then we'll come back and have a seat. But you can stay there if you like. In there, in the fire. Would you like the fan on? Yeah. yeah. Alright, good. I just want to make the fun for you guys. The fan is on. No, there's a bigger one right there. Oh. Industrial. Yeah, turn that on. I think that one is the cream, vanilla cream. It looks yeah. like syrup. I want to try the vanilla Me too. Cream. We have, Did you get some of the chocolates? Uh, oh, the coffee. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty like really good. Back you know which one we, we have? Vanilla one. and Mazatlan? I wish we bought that. That was good. So, this is where we do the cooking process. The first thing we do here is fill the pit halfway with wood and the other half is volcanic rock. We turn on the fire, the volcanic rock absorbs and stores the heat. We put a lot of palm leaf on top of the rock, we pour water, agave palm leaf again, and dirt. We leave it there for three days. After it's cooked for those three days, we take them over there to get the juice out of the agave. But let's go that way, okay? Just splash it on. Something's biting you. Yeah. That's a rubber plant. And then we no, got it the well, it looks like rubber. just to fit it in this log and with this pestle, we pound it just to separate the fibers. Once the fibers are opened up, we put all the fibers in a container, we add water, and we just let it sit to ferment. We do not add on? yeast, we do not add sugar, mm -hmm. we don't add anything to it because if we do it, it will accelerate the fermentation, it will damage the taste, and that's why people use salt and lime to drink it here. If we want to export all over, then instead of using 10% of agave sugar, we would only use 5.1 to replace uh, the other 4.9 with a different type of sugar. And the other type of sugar will contain all the heights, and the other heights will cause people to wake up with headaches, hangovers, traumatized, where you don't want to know anything about the killer, right? You spend it again, and it makes you sick. About 20 years, yeah, that, uh, I had a bad experience, and it took years uh, for me to drink again. It happens, but once you start drinking that good tequila again, you lose that. You smell it, and it reminds you of the agave. It doesn't remind you of the bad experience. Yeah, I can. Right? So come, kids. This is the distilling process over here. I didn't like the last place. We have the coffee one was good. Two, uh, the like a creamsicle? Creamsicle? You ever had a creamsicle? Nuh-uh. Orange and vanilla? 
which is connected to the drum. Yeah. This bamboo has a water hose connected yeah. to the single water, so the water just goes in and out and keeps the pot cool. Oh, yeah. This is the condenser. Where was that at? Right underneath here. the condenser, oh, we here. have another small container, which I'm is connected with this tube, and this part on top comes on. There's a hole in the middle. We empty the fermentation, which is 200 liters. We put this back on. We seal the sides with a paste made off the same agave. That way, uh, the steam stays inside without harming the flavor. We turn on the fire and the fermentation warms up till it releases the steam and hits the condenser. It drips and it comes out through here. Out of the first distillation, we get 20 liters. We put the 20 liters back in there. We distill it again and end up with half. 10 liters, but 100% pure tequila. No chemicals, no yeast, no headaches. You wake up once more after you drink our tequila. You might need to go to AA meetings after this, guys, and <laughs> try it. Just so you know. Yeah. AA is for quitters. I do AA meetings. For You're quitting. Let's go. Come. That's what I say when we do the meetings. <laughs> so you guys want to taste? Yes. yes. Sure. Please raise your hand if you don't. If you don't. <laughs> All right. Work. Come closer, please. Mm, We're going to start with tequila. Blanco. Grand Posado. Mm. Would you guys like uh, two shots? Yes. Oh. Or two shots. All right. Stand in front of this. Bam. Oh, yeah. 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 So she's gonna go around, let her know if you want a little one or a big one. Okay. I would divide this. Yeah, you want one? I don't want, no. I don't want you don't want no reposado. Oh, she's gonna leave some veggies too. Okay. Little one, little. That's good, that's good. Mandarin, yep. Should have read it. <laughs> What's almendra? Is that almond? Almendra? I think so. Yeah. Almendra? I don't know. There's vanilla cream and nut cream. This better than the other one? No. no. <laughs> I can smell it from here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Alright. Well, I'm, well, I'm an Añejo guy. I got Reposado. Can I drink this? Oh. Warman? She <laughs> likes margaritas. Oh! They have cantaritos there. They're really good. Maybe the flavor the Guinness? You don't taste the alcohol at all. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. I didn't really if you like this, didn't taste it. Yeah. If you like, if you like. If you don't want to, I can drink it for you. <laughs> Alright. First, you're gonna smell it, right? After you smell it, you're going to blow out. After you blow out, you're gonna drink this water, and after you swallow it, slowly you will any three notes like this. And slowly you will exit three notes. Okay, but I will guide you, I will guide you. You drank it already, yeah? All right, all right. Uh, okay. You want to join us, amigo? All right, here we go. That's a little one, huh? Don't drink it. Get it. Don't drink it. We'll drink it together. All right, here we go. All right. Okay, guys. Anybody else? All right. I'm going to drink one with you guys only because it's Sunday, right? right. It's Sunday. It's Sunday somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Everybody, say salut. Salut. Inhale. Exhale. And down. Inhale. And exhale. Warmness, that warmness, yeah, I don't think it's as good alcohol. as the other one. Next one. Añeco tequila. <laughs> añeco tequila. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like the Añejo. Yeah. 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 Ye
one's probably smoother, hopefully. Yeah, we have that's good, that's good. Yes. You want to smell it? No, I can smell it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little smoother, hopefully. days a week or 